Hi, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, on Tuesday, October the 4th, 2011. Uh, it's uh, around 7.45 uh, Pacific Time, and I just want to go over the markets with you. This is the NASDAQ 100, the QQQs. And I had said uh, last week um, in my weekend report that uh, breaking uh, through this uh, uh, lower trend line here was a bad sign. And we had a close here uh, on Friday uh, at the lows of the day. And uh, I had said at that point we'd go down here and uh, retest these lows here, which we're doing now. And um, so uh, markets clearly, again, in a downtrend. If we take out these previous lows here, um, uh, then uh, we're going to go lower. And that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, this is the S&P 500, the spiders. And uh, we did take out this previous low here of 109.70 made uh, in early August. And uh, we got down to a low of 107.43 this morning and uh, on a gap down. So uh, we, are, we have now taken out the previous lows. Uh, we had a rally going here uh, in August. It stalled out in September, and now we have broken through that. And looking now at the Dow, uh, same story. Broke through these uh, uh, August lows here uh, this morning and um, are now uh, falling through this. So this sort of consolidation uh, sideways pattern that we had going is now broken to the downside. And uh, a lot of people are becoming aware of the fact that we are in a bear market. And uh, you know the most prudent thing to do in these things is, is just raise cash and, and go to the sidelines and wait this thing out. We never know how low these things will go. And bear markets, as you know, can get very brutal very quickly. And here is the Russell 2000, the IWM. And uh, again, breaking out of this sideways pattern to the downside, not a good sign. And you'll also notice with all these um, uh, uh, indexes is that we uh, are, are below the key moving averages. This blue line is the 50-day moving average, a very important moving average that a lot of traders follow, well below that and well below the green dotted line, the 100-day moving average, and uh, way below the 200-day moving average, this black dotted line. And then this red line here is your shorter term 21-day uh, 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 moving average. And you'll notice that uh, in the rallies, we kind of fought a battle around that. And now that is pointed lower. So uh, all indicators are uh, showing us uh, that we're going to be going lower. And looking overseas to the emerging markets, this is the EEM. Uh, exchange traded fund uh, for the emerging markets and uh, we broke this sort of sideways pattern uh, back here in mid-September and uh, this morning uh, uh, have broken uh, even further uh, lower uh, we had a little rally going up here it got stalled here at this 10-day moving average this gray dot uh, uh, solid line here and uh, which it's fought a battle with uh, twice here and uh, now headed lower all indicators all um, moving averages pointing lower now so in a bear market as well and looking at the financial stocks, uh, they have uh, been uh, under a lot of pressure uh, uh, since uh, July and uh, uh, broke out of this sideways pattern uh, here uh, uh, in uh, late September and uh, falling further now. So um, bank stocks, of course, getting hammered. Uh, bank of America uh, got really slaughtered yesterday and uh, a lot of them uh, under, under a lot of pressure. And here is uh, Bank of America. Um, down another 2% uh, this morning, uh, breaking further lower. Uh, this stock is uh, down uh, uh, about 60% since the summer, so uh, just getting, getting hammered here. Moving on to gold, this is the GLD. This is the exchange traded fund that trades gold, one of the most heavily traded uh, exchange traded funds on the, on the market. And uh, still fighting this battle we talked about last week uh, here at the 100-day moving average. Uh, rallied up yesterday above it, closed above it, and now we're slightly below it uh, right now here in early morning trade. And you can see the volume falling off. Uh, this is a stalling action. <clears throat> this is sort of a sideways movement here for, for gold, uh, trying to build a base here after <clears throat> a pretty nasty uh, fall here. So uh, gold moving sideways, uh, stable. And uh, here's silver. This is the SLV, the Exchange Traded Fund for Silver, also going sideways on falling volume, trying to build a base down here in the $29 to $30 range uh, after its uh, a real bad fall here. Um, huge gap downs here a couple of weeks ago. And looking now at energy stocks, uh, not stable uh, like uh, your gold and silver. Uh, commodity stocks. Uh, this one here down 1.56% uh, this morning on a gap, falling further. 
um, <clears throat> had a little bit of a sideways pattern going here, uh, broke out of that um, in late September on a gap, rallied up here to the 10-day moving average, now falling further. So um, uh, no rally, uh, uh, certainly, in the energy stocks. And moving on now to some of the former leaders of the last bull market. This is Apple. Um, been hanging tough for a long time. Actually went to new highs a few weeks ago. And uh, now been under a lot of distribution. Uh, these red bars here are down days. And uh, when you see above average volume on down days, uh, that's distribution. Uh, so heavy selling coming into Apple. Uh, looks like we've only had really one up day out of the last couple of weeks. Uh, today looks like it may be an up day, but you never know. Um, so lots of distribution. Uh, coming down under this blue uh, line, this is the 50-day moving average. You can see that it's gotten support here um, throughout uh, August and September. Uh, was trading above it all through July and uh, came down and tested it here and uh, got support here. But now we have clearly broken through that on some heavy volume. Uh, looks like we're going down here at least to the uh, green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average at about 365. So coming down off of uh, 423 uh, down here into the 375 range. Um, so Apple under pressure. And another big cap uh, leader, uh, Amazon.com hit a hit a high here back in uh, mid-September and has now fallen down. This morning, slicing through, gapping below its 50-day moving average. Um, and uh, getting support here uh, right now this morning at the 100 day moving average but uh, Amazon clearly under pressure now. And this is one of our favorite uh, restaurant stocks uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill under pressure here lots of down days um, hard to see here but uh, some distribution coming in here losing control of its 50 day moving average uh, and its 100 day moving average looks like it's on a trip down to its 200 day moving average so coming well off the highs of uh, 346 uh, and change here back in mid-September. So a lot of these leaders topping out in mid-September and now under pressure. Looking now at Green Mountain Coffee, uh, down uh, almost uh, well 1.9 percent here uh, this morning, losing control of its 100-day moving average, lost control of its 50-day uh, moving average last week. Again, topping out in mid-September, another leader that topped here at uh, 116 and uh, heavy distribution coming in to Green Mountain Coffee which has been a great leader um, <clears throat> you can see here um, rallying up uh, this chart goes back uh, to uh, to April um, <clears throat> clearly above its uh, blue line the 50-day moving average all the way through came back down here tested um, uh, quickly recovered uh, to a new high and now falling precipitously under distribution and here's a chart of the once mighty Netflix um, Topping out here back in mid-July at uh, 305, we're down now to 100 and 108 dollars. Uh, got down here to a low of that. Uh, incredible fall for Netflix. Uh, they changed their pricing model, basically doubling their prices, um, and uh, I guess that's really hurt the company. But uh, losing really two thirds of its value. All the moving averages pointed lower. Ugly, ugly chart. And here is the once great Priceline.com topping out here in mid-September again, now under heavy distribution. Really one, one up day here, um, one up day close. Um, again, uh, 1.74, uh, another loss this morning, taking out all these previous lows down here. Um, so uh, Priceline under intense pressure, losing control of all its moving averages. Here's the 200-day moving average way up here at about 490 and uh, the 50 and 100 um, at about 510 and now you see the 50 crossing over the 100 uh, that's called a black cross and uh, not a good sign so price line looking very weak here and Chinese stocks have been under a lot of pressure here is uh, the mighty Baidu uh, one of the great leaders of this last bull market actually the last two bull markets and um, Baidu topping out here uh, in uh, late July here at uh, 166 and uh, fighting a battle here around its 50-day moving average, uh, but breaking uh, through uh, all these key moving averages here uh, in mid-September, and now down at about $101 uh, for a low, so coming well off the 166 level. 
And uh, behind here, you can see these big uh, volume spikes here. Uh, all these big uh, above average volume spikes on the down days. This is distribution. This is big institutions unloading uh, this stock here. Not a good sign. You don't want to get in the way of this. We don't know how low these will go. If we if we retest the lows made in uh, 2008, 2009, uh, these stocks can go much lower from here. It's hard to believe, but they they surely can. So best to best to stay on the sidelines. And here's a great retail stock. This is Lululemon, also under intense selling pressure uh, in the last uh, five or six sessions here. Um, gap downs, above average volume, ugly chart, uh, taking out this previous low of 44.27. Um, but a wild ride here uh, for Lululemon. So as you can see, the uh, general markets are under pressure. The leaders uh, of the last uh, uh, bull phase are clearly under a lot of pressure here. Uh, very damaged charts. Um, bear markets are very nasty. It's best to um, raise cash and uh, and preserve your purchasing power. This will turn around. It always does. Uh, the markets are very smart. They're going to look ahead uh, for uh, for a brighter uh, uh, scenario and start to rally just when the news seems to be at its worst. So uh, it's best to uh, keep a clear head uh, by not uh, uh, sustaining heavy losses and, and uh, keep your powder dry, so to speak, so you're ready to uh, jump on the next opportunity. And it will come. Always does. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you.